Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and this is the Tails Collector's Edition figure. Now, for the longest time, I thought this thing just no longer existed. I thought it was cancelled, and that was it, because Entertainment Earth cancelled my order for it. And then somebody on the internet said, no, this is not cancelled. Okay. And then next thing you know, it's just available to buy. Just out of nowhere. So I bought one. So I ordered it on Amazon, and not only did it get lost for a little bit, but it also got completely wrecked. At the end of the day, I'm sure the figure itself is fine, but the box definitely got beat, but whatever. But we're also gonna compare this to some of the other Jax collector's figures that we have back here. So let's unbox this thing. So we have the front of the box right here, customize your very own Tails figure. And on the side, we got some poses, a few of the accessories down here, and we have the flying ability up here. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. So on the back of this box, you're going to see everything that is contained within this box. And also a torn bottom because, again, this thing got absolutely destroyed through Amazon. This doesn't happen to everybody, but it sure is unfortunate when it happens to a YouTuber and it ends up being in a YouTube video. And then, of course, the front opens up so you get a nice window display on how the figure looks inside. And we also get this beautiful rendition of Tails and Sonic just hanging out on Green Hill. But it's funny that it's taken this long for us to actually get a Green Hill base finally outside of the Tomy figure. So let's open it up and see what the figure's like. No lie, I didn't really anticipate getting this figure that much. I wanted it, but realistically I don't have space for this thing. And now the Tails and Android is coming out. I'm like more excited for that than I am for this. So now we get to pull this out. Then inside the box we also have his different accessories in here. Which again, I love the fact that they actually like wrap up every piece individually so there's no paint transfer or anything like that. Then there's another piece down here. It's just cardboard. That's not important. Cool. Then down here we also have a few more of the accessories. A lot of things tying it down, so we're gonna cut those off real quick. Also one around the neck. In order to get to that, you gotta cut the tape around this whole base. They really secure this thing in here, which I believe is good. But it's also really annoying. So we're just gonna try to not cut ourselves here. Okay, now that all those were cutting off, we should be able to just pull him out now. And these hinges are very tight. Again, it's one of those things you just gotta break in, and over time it will become more playable. He also has little tape things around his eyes. Okay. Then we have his tails down here. I'm happy that they kept that actually separate in the packaging. So you don't accidentally break it and it feels very soft too it's definitely got a lot of flex to it and then we got the separated ring while we're here let's actually just get everything out of this box and get the box out of the way so we can put the base together adult assembly required then we have all these accessories we gotta unwrap like it's a christmas present like or an ornament from hallmark so we have three sets of tails which honestly seeing this effect I want to figure, like, it's so nice. I love the way this looks. And it's quite heavy, too. Then opening this up, we got all these little hands, one of his mouths, a set of the eyes. I noticed recently, getting a Tails figure right has been very difficult. And I feel like Jax recently has gotten it right when it comes to color as well as scale. So I'm, like, really excited to see how this pairs next to the other Sonic figures. All right, so here's Tails uh, with all of his extra goodies. So let's put on one of his tails. Um, it's just a simple ball socket. A little bit of pressure to put it on, but it's on. And this looks really, really good. Unfortunately, it does make him a bit top heavy. Thankfully, the stand does help him a good bit. But if you don't want to use a stand, it is quite top heavy. But the premium finish they talk about on the box, like having that matte finish, that is definitely here. Like It definitely comes across very nice. But unfortunately, there is a lot of paint transfer on this. It is an easy cleanup to do, but when you're paying like close to $60 with this thing after tax, you would want it to feel and look a little nicer. And even like the way the finishes on the eye, uh, you can see like, a little bit of scuff marks of like the paint transferring off. You also see the paint work around this ear. Now this is going to be a thing from figure to figure. Not all of them are going to be like that, but I do got to point out any issues that I have. I'm also not sure why they bundled these two hands in particular like already in the package. I don't know why it wasn't the fists, but 
That's beyond me. The only thing I added to this figure so far is just putting on the tails. That's it. Let's swap out one of the fists. Okay, it's a little bit tight. It's a little bit tough at first, but again, breaking in, it'll eventually be good. But because of stuff like his uh, hair on his head, uh, trying to pop this on and then like, struggling really hard and accidentally like dropping it or like pushing it too forward and accidentally bumping it, it has me scared on how well it's going to last. But it looks like it's on there very strongly. There we go, finally got it on. But no lie, so far I think this is the most accurate Tails figure to date. This is the most he's probably come like from the game. Like He looks like he jumped right out of the screen. This is beautiful. And for the first time, we can actually move his head more than just sideways. We can actually move it up and down if we need to. Which I feel like for his flying poses, having him like look like he's flying, that's definitely necessary. So even though seeing a neck joint can be a little bit off-putting, you don't really notice it all that much. It's a really good figure. Like th This is probably the best collector's figure we've gotten of the Sonic line so far. Let's try popping out the mouths and eyes. How difficult is that? Ooh, definitely a tight fit. And let's do the closed eyes as well as a smile. And I just noticed there's something along the side of his face, like right behind his muzzle. Let me take out the mouth real quick. This thing right here, well, what's up with that? I've heard recently that some of the newer Sonic figures have that matte finish for these figures because my modern Sonic doesn't have that. So we have his eyes closed. The eyelids don't really match the same color tone as the rest of his head, but I'm happy to finally see that it's actual eyes closed and not just white with lines over it like with Sonic. Again, I believe this is probably one of the best Sonic figures we've had. Like, I wouldn't mind going for a full set of these collector's figures. And I believe they're making a classic Tales after this as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for classic Tales. Maybe, we'll see. I feel like so far for like any fan of Tales, like, this would be, like, the perfect gift for them. Like, this is such a good figure. I've been collecting Sonic figures since the Sonic Adventure for Dreamcast days. And I can proudly say that this is definitely the best Tails figure I've ever seen. For the longest time, the Jazzwares one was my favorite, even though the colors were completely wrong. And even the scale was off, but the whole line was off. So now we got him looking all frowning. Look at this. Like, this is such a good Tails figure. Oh my god. All right, let's get him in a flying pose with the spinning propellers. Getting the eyes out is definitely a pain. And it's also flexible, so you don't have to worry about it breaking on you, so that's nice. It's also weird that with his mouth, like, if you, like, move it up, you can see how far back his teeth go. I don't know how to feel about that personally. But looking at it straight on, it looks really good. Then we're gonna put this big boy on actually before i put the tails up back on let's actually change the hands okay putting on the hands it's tough at first but you figure it out and here he is with his little flying tails this looks so nice i love this i kind of wish you could move his head up a little bit more and something that disappoints me now is that like we can't pose him in midair unless we have an external base which this tails like this is really heavy like with like the the flying propellers like this becomes a very heavy figure so getting like a standard figure base would be really difficult so let's swap this out and put on regular tails like where they're like really out to be honest i almost feel like using these tails is almost not very necessary because i feel like these ones just look so much better but it makes them top heavy but like when it comes to balancing I feel like this is gonna be the best tails for that, but now I don't want to. I actually don't want to use these at all anymore. I, it's like it's either only these two. Like these are only two I really like now. Okay, so on my somewhat crooked desk, we did get him to stand with those tails on him. Let's go. But now, comparison time. How does he stand next to Sonic? Pull out Modern Sonic. Oh yeah, I love this. Oh, this turned out so good. Oh, I love this. Okay, as someone who doesn't collect the Jack Pacific line, at least the four inch line, it is a great line of figures because of the amount of characters they have. But the collector's line, when it comes to like making them accurate to each other, oh my God, it works so well. 
I'm still overall disappointed with the base. I feel like having that little effect where it messes with your eyes, I feel is completely unnecessary. And I still believe that these should house the accessories for these figures. Part of me wishes he also had his little tablet. Actually, what's that called? Okay, it's either called the Miles Electronic or the Pad. Anyway, it would have been cool to see that included as well. But it's fine that it's not here, I guess. Seeing a loose ring finally is really nice and having it on a display base is really cool. Yeah, this is definitely by far the most accurate Tails figure we've ever gotten so far. This is amazing. And it has me very curious on what's going to come next from the Jack Pacific collector's line. Personally, I get more excited over the Nendroids because I, I fell in love with them the most. But these are turning out really, really great. Classic Sonic looks great. Modern Sonic could have been better. But Tails... From first impression alone, this thing is nearly perfect. Besides the quality control issues. Unfortunately, he's still plagued with quality control issues. And I wish the display stand had an arm so you could actually have Tails flying with this little thing. So overall presentation, still not great. However, when it comes to having uh, scaled accurately as well as overall sculpt accuracy for a Tails figure, this is perfect. So here they are, standing next to each other. I love this. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna fit it on my shelf, but I'm gonna figure that out. That's a me problem. So if you do want to pick this figure up yourself, uh, I'm gonna have links in the description. There's gonna be affiliate links, so it helps me out if you buy these as well. If you're a fan of Tails, buy this. Absolutely amazing. A nitpick is I wish he came with a little, a little iPad he has, a little miles electronic thing it's called but actual criticism these stands need to carry their accessories these stands also need to have an arm so you can have tails actually fly especially if you're charging 50 to 60 dollars as a premium i think right now before shipping a taxi is like 55 dollars which i could see why they added on the extra five dollars versus sonic but yeah by far this is the best collector's figure we've gotten so far i highly recommend this thing I hope we get a re-release of Modern Sonic with a much better either array of accessories or the premium finish we were promised or anything like that. I would love an updated Modern Sonic. That would be look, that would look really nice. But let me know in the comments. Do you plan on picking this guy up? Because he is too cute. I love him so much. And let me know, should I do an unboxing of the rest of this line if it comes out in more? Like, if they make a Classic Tales, which I'm pretty sure that's coming out. And if they make a Knuckles, should I make those? I'm also getting the Nendoroids as well. And I might compare it to this just to see what happens. Because this overall is great. But now I'm really excited to see where a Tails Nendoroid is going to go. Because overall, this mostly killed it. With the Nendoroid, I expect to see a Tails like this. But with a peg in there to allow you to use it on a stand. And maybe that little tablet thing but recently Nendoroid's been like holding back on accessories so I'm not expecting too much I expected to literally just be tails like with Sonic we got a lot of accessories the checkpoint the item capsule the chaos armor the ring plus all of his little accessories but I don't expect tails to come with too much in comparison to Sonic but I would love to compare these figures to the Nendoroids when they release so I plan on doing that so thank you for watching, and if you're new and you like what you saw, you know what to do. In the description, there's social media. In the description, there's all my other social media as well as where you can buy this guy. So I highly recommend that you pick this up because this is great. And also let me know, what do you think of this little series of me just unboxing figures and just playing with them? Anyway, I gotta go. Thank you for watching. I love you guys to death. And I'll see you on the next one. So peace, peace.